guys, John in Brooklyn. From Casey Farms. I'm back out here at the farm. We're gonna do a compare and contrast video. So if any of you are wondering about, should I get chickens, should I get ducks? Or maybe some of you have chickens and wanna try ducks. We're gonna tell you our experience with them. Let's head over, we'll do the chickens first. Here we go. First things first, these are our Easter eggers. If you've been following along, you know, hey, why don't you shut off the fence so we don't get popped. We're just gonna throw out some scratch for them so you guys can check out the birds while we're talking about them. Here, just bring it over here, babe. Bring it over here and we'll shake it in there. I guess we can get in. So our chickens are 14 weeks old. Go ahead and shake out some scratch for them. So we just did some pros and cons of each. And uh, we're gonna go over those with you guys and give you our experience. I'm sure everyone's got different experiences with different types of birds. Um, when they were chicks, we built the brooders We'll post a link to that video if you haven't seen our brooder that we used. Um, we uh, had a nice brooder box and the work, first part, the bad things, we'll go over the negatives first. The chickens were constantly pooping in their feed. Okay, so every morning I'd come out and there'd be poop and I think it's because they tried to roost up on their feeder. But anyway, that was kind of a pain in the butt, always cleaning poop out of their feed. Um, second thing, with the chickens, we lost a lot more, and I think some of that was from pasty butt. Um, not really sure, that could have just been our experience, but we lost a lot more chickens than we did ducks. Um, the other thing, they constantly picked on each other. They were like carnivores. We had the one exotic chicken, Hey Hey. If you haven't seen a video about him, we'll post that in here. Um, so they're constantly, they would pick on each other. So that was, hard part we had to segregate and move chickens out while they were healing up and getting better and they also pecked at us more when we'd stick our hands in there to pick them up and take them outside they were pecking at us it could have been that they were just scared i don't think they're attacking us um, but as chicks i found that kind of weird that they were trying to peck at us now that they're older they haven't really bothered us but they still do pick on each other okay they bother us a little though how do they bother you? They, they peck at you. Okay, so maybe Brooklyn's got sweeter meat than we do. She's been getting pecked at a little bit. Let's head over to the Welsomers and we'll talk about the good things that we've enjoyed about our chickens. All right, we're here with the Welsomers, same age. These are also 14 weeks old. And another negative that I didn't talk about when we were looking at the Americanas, the Welsomers and Americanas, they fly out of the fence, which we can clip their wings, that's no big deal. But compared to the ducks, the ducks, they obviously, they're a heavy breed, they don't fly out of the fence. Sometimes the chickens will fly out of the fence, which is not a big deal, but that may be a big deal for some people. Um, so the goods, the good things about chickens, they put themselves to bed easier. At night when they're ready to go up and roost in the coop, I can come out, they're all roosting already, all I gotta do is close up the door. So they were definitely able to do that a lot easier than the ducks. We enjoy having them on the farm. That's another pro. You think of a farm and a homestead, do you think everybody, chickens are like the gateway, the gateway animal to homesteading and little farms. They're pretty easy to raise. They're fun to watch in the yard and they give you eggs. So that is a pro to the chickens. Uh, we also like hearing the roosters crowing. So. Obviously the ducks don't crow. We like the chickens because of the crowing. Uh, they're a great source of fertilizer. We've got them in this netting. Every circle, we have little crop circles around the farm. Everywhere they go, the grass is a lot greener than any of the other grass around the farm. So their fertilizer is a good thing for us. That's why we built our chick shaws by Justin Rhodes and we're able to move them fast and easy whenever we need to. So we are able to move them into any dead spots on our lawn that need some fertilizer. 
and they are able to fertilize our grass. So that's a pro. They're also fun to watch. We enjoy just watching them peck around, exploring, foraging around the farm. And that's our last point. They are active foragers. And as they get older, we'll probably open them up and let them free range. The netting is just for uh, protection at night to keep them safe. So as they're older, we'll probably just let them free range around the farm where they can get bugs and grass and anything else that they want. And that will help cut down on the feed. So there are your pros and cons of chickens. We're gonna head on over to the ducks and talk about the good and the bad of our ducks. You ready? Let's go. Well, let's go. We're back over in the orchard with the ducks. We've been calling them our orchard ducks and that's gonna be one of the positives here. We'll get to that. We have silver apple yard ducks, if you have not seen that yet. Just filled up their pools. They're always excited to come out from under the shade when we got their pools full. We're gonna go over the negatives. The negatives first. Um, the first one. They pooped a lot. We put them in the same... Um, we put them in the same brooder boxes the chickens and uh they pooped a lot which is fine i don't know if you can hear me with all the quackers but there was a lot more poop but it was not in their food so that was a good thing second thing oh yeah the thing about the poop it was all in one area so it made it very easy to clean so it wasn't all over the brooder box it was basically around where the water was it just lay there and poop and it was, uh, it was kind of a spray poop, so it would get up on the side of the walls of the brooder. So that was kind of a negative, but in being in one area, it wasn't too hard to clean. And we had to add brewer's yeast. Okay, so a negative, which I mean, it's not a big deal. Yes, so we have to add brewer's yeast to their food for the first 20 weeks or so. Um, if you're feeding them chick starter, because they need extra vitamin D or they can get leg issues. Um, so it's, it's not a hard thing to do, but it's just a uh, extra thing you have to do. So we put that on our bad list for the ducks. Water is dirty, we're dirty quicker. All right, yes, they're waterers. When we were uh, filling up waters, they get dirty a lot quicker and you can see why, because they like to bathe in it. Um, we'll put a video of the buckets we made for uh, the ducks, which helped with the water, but we made our holes too big at first, so the ducks got in there and were swimming around and their water got dirtier. Um, but you can make some things, as like in our video, it keeps the water cleaner for longer when they're babies, so it's a, it's a different thing with chickens than the chickens, but we put it on our, one of our negative lists for the ducks, okay? Um, another negative, as they get older, they were, uh, we call it the lay and spray. So they'll sit around this pool and they'll just lay in where they can stick their heads in and they will spray poop everywhere and it just gets in one area. So if you're not able to rotate your ducks to different spaces, that could get real nasty quickly. We have 12 ducks and we move them. We try to move them about every week and I move them daily inside this netting so all the poop is not in one spot. So it's not that big an issue, but if you had a static pen where they were, it would uh, get messy quick and you wouldn't have much grass. So that's why we like to rotate them around our little orchard here. And then we will get to our pluses for ducks, why we like ducks. Okay, the first thing. They were friendly. Friendlier, as we got them as uh, baby ducklings. They were just real friendly and they never pecked at us. They'd nibble on our fingers and everything. But in our experience, they were friendlier than the chickens. They move together in a group. I've uh, got a video we're gonna insert. They will move here in a group. The chickens, when they get out and you try to get them back in a spot, they just all scatter. The ducks, you can herd them like sheep, I would imagine. We've never had sheep, but they all move together in a pack. So that makes it really easy. If you're trying to move them one spot to another, they all follow each other. So you can basically herd them around your farm. Their fertilizer. Good, they give us good fertilizer. Whenever I empty these pools, we just fill these up so they're pretty clean. They'll be dirty in no time here. But when we do empty them, I just get a bucket and I dump them on our trees in the orchard here. 
and it is a great fertilizer. So that's another reason we're calling them our orchard ducks because they're helping with our orchard. They grow faster. Um, these guys, guys, the chickens were 14 weeks old. These guys are only seven weeks old. At the end of the video, that'll be our last thing. I'm gonna grab two chickens and a duck and I wanna show you the different size. Now granted, we just have egg laying ducks and they're not a large, I'm sorry, egg laying chickens and they're not a large breed. But uh, these chi these ducks are a large breed duck and they're only, they're half the age of the chickens. And we'll show you a size difference here at the end. Um, they were fun to watch. Yes, as you can see guys, we'll sit out here sometimes and just watch them playing around. They're a lot more active. I shouldn't say a lot more active, but when you get their pools, they're a lot more active and they like to play around and their mannerisms are just real funny. They've got personalities and the way they waddle around, we really enjoy that as one of the pluses for having ducks. Um, they are active voyagers. Not voyagers, foragers. Foragers. They're Foragers. active foragers. Eventually we want to be able to put them in our garden where they can go through and get the bugs and grubs and snails and all that stuff. Um, we've been picking off caterpillars off our cabbages and feeding them to the ducks and they just love those so they're very good foragers and they get a lot of their food just from foraging around the farm. They're quackers. Alright, we were talking about the crows from the chickens. We enjoy the quacks. They used to chirp just like chickens when they're little but as they get older their quacks have started to come in and it's just fun and enjoyable. We're going to be using these for meat and eggs in the future and uh, so our experiences with the ducks and chickens, both have been positive. Um, it's just what you want to do on your farm. We just wanted to give you some of the pluses and minuses of each of them and give you our opinions. So, Brooklyn, if you were only able to pick one, chickens or ducks, what would you pick? I couldn't pick one of them. You like them both? Uh-huh. Okay, well, it's kind of an easy one for me, guys. I've always had chickens on the farm. This is the first time having ducks, and I would totally, if I had to do it over again, I would get a lot more ducks and less chickens. I just really enjoy the ducks. They're fun, they're big, they've all got good personalities in our experience anyway. Um, so if I could do it over again, I would just stick mostly with ducks. Now we'll make a video later on um, about the egg laying and the meat when it gets to that point, and who's a better layer and who's better for meat. Um, but that will be another video. So we'll catch you on the next video. This is our uh, ducks versus chickens opinion video. Um, I encourage you, if you've only had ducks, try some chickens. If you don't, never had ducks, I would definitely encourage you to get some ducks. We'll check you out on the next video. All right, guys, we almost forgot. We're gonna do a comparison. This is our biggest rooster, Big Red. He's a Welsomer, and they're not a huge breed by any means. 14 weeks old. Let me put it beside. This is one of our ducks. That duck is seven weeks old. So 14 weeks and seven weeks old. So the ducks are definitely growing a lot faster. Brooklyn says the duck is super heavy, so we're gonna put them back and we'll catch you guys next time.